Right, hi. Um, I promised the other day that I'd continue this. I said that you'd probably see it again at some point over the next week. So I'm going to try and finish this little doodle today. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. So what I want to do now is extend... This is just that piece hanging over that pole, isn't it? So I want it to look as if there's something else there. So if I do that like that, and like, again, not a straight edge, and on here, I want to do like little checks, like a tartan fabric or a gingham. Well, we'll have gingham, we won't say tartan because that'd complicate everything, wouldn't it? So if I just, I haven't done that bit very well. Um, make that a bit bigger. And it's just so easy. Get yourself a little torn up scrap of paper and a pencil and you don't ever have to show anybody. But if you practice, I think I've said it before when I've done these little doodling videos, that if you practice, it's amazing. You can, you get more confident, um, you know, and you don't have to show anybody. It's just for you. It's just a little exercise for you just help you relax into the day um, there nothing ventured nothing gained so I just want to make that line a bit darker so that it's more obvious uh, like that and then that I think needs something else there to fill that in there so there's a little checked bit hanging on the back so and then we could have up here something else as if it's going across there with those um, so what's happened there is that that actually I don't want it the same length as the one on the other side I brought my rubber um, I want it longer than the one on the other side. So let me put that like that back. So we'll go down to here. That's better. So that is as if that bit there, that's just the woven bit, sorry, that's just the woven bit, is hanging over on top of this bit. So what am I going to do with this bit? I might just do something linear. like a, an uneven check it doesn't have to be a fancy pattern even if you use linear more than once if you use it in a different way it has a different effect so so I won't do them like perfect squares I'll do them different widths and things some will have three lines going across, some will have two. This is a bit like a tartan. That one. So that's a bit like a tartan, isn't it? And then I want something else coming down here that's longer than that. So we'll go... So we've got a really raggy end there. Um, and again, I could literally, well, what I'll do with this one, I'll do the stitch marks at the edge. Like that, okay. And then I'll put a sense of something in here. I'll just like that, like a scroll like it's an overall surface pattern literally a scribble in there okay and then do I want something here I think I do so if it goes up to there say and then there I could maybe have the other bit of that that check thing down here as if that's somehow falling down the back to provide continuity does that make sense?
Oh yeah, no, I like that. And when you see the overall impression there, so there's something missing there and that needs to go there. Yeah. So there, see, so that works because that looks like it could be going behind there and down and coming out the bottom there. So that's that little doodle finished on that page. Uh, what do you think? And then I thought these little book pages that I'm trying to put together, I could maybe do something similar in one of these. So if I start one in here, so if I go, this is a little bit of dotted paper I've just stuck on top of this blank page. So let's say I start here with my pole, start with my pole and extend it onto there, okay. And then the first bit of fabric we could have, it could be a really wide bit and quite a, quite a uniform shape, okay. So it's going over the pole, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that top a stripe. Have that pole coming out a bit more. Okay. And then perhaps just to keep that continuity, have another stripe here. Okay. But then from there on in. I quite like that linear thing I did that was like um, that was like tartan. So I'm going to do that again. So if I do it that way, up there, there. Now I don't think really I've got much delicacy going on here. So I'm going to just continue these lines and do that. Like these are threads coming out of the edge, just little wisps um, out the edge of those. I think that adds a softness and a delicacy to that. So, and then down here, a very thin bit down here that can come all the way down and off the edge. Like that. And that can have dots on it, circles on it, to provide some kind of contrast. And it could actually have an edge as if there was like um, embroidered puffs on the edge or something. So I'll sort that out in a second. Um, I have to keep checking it, you can see, because I'm awful for moving things out of the way of the camera. It's a bad habit, I know. So that's like a spotty cloth, but there's nothing to stop these bits of raggy cloth that you draw in having ornate edges. Right, so along here I could have like that and a little ball on the end like it's got things tied onto it how does that look i think the balls need to be bigger so we've got like coins or buttons or puffs hanging off this and i might do one that's massively bigger Yeah, no, I think I need something here though to denote the edge of this. So I'll just put some stitch lines down here so that it's definitely separated from that other thing. There. This is a funky one. It's not the best filling in in the world, but 
for the purposes of this and it's given me an idea anyway so just try it you know nothing lost just try it I'm wondering should I start a Flickr group an open Flickr group called a doodle a day and let you put your pictures in there I might do that you know and I'm not going to commit to anything in terms of commenting on your pictures or giving advice because that's the kind of thing I do in my classes but I will open the group um, for everybody and anybody and you can all chat amongst yourselves um, I might never comment on anything because I can't commit to that because I have enough commitments in that sense with my classes but I think it, maybe it would spur you on perhaps um, if there was a group called that so that you know you could do your five minute doodle and put it on there if you wanted to and there's no compulsion no compulsion at all um, but it might help some of you so I really like that so that's a good how long 11 minutes I am sorry you're probably sick of my voice so that yeah I'm really glad I did that now I've got a stitch for class which again is not a chore it's an amazing thing so okay a doodle a day get ready for a doodle a day